When Coach Peter de Villiers joined Zimbabwe Rugby, it was a good day. He was a man whose reputation uh, preceded him as a coach who was committed to excellence and nurturing relationships with his players. As soon as he began working with the team, he quickly established an easy rapport and connection with each of the players. The unfortunate reality is that in spite of his good intentions and constructive input that he, that he brought to the team, he was forced to deal with the presidium that restricted his ability to be fully impactful. They are an oversight organ there to provide support to the coach and players. However, it overstepped its parameters by consistently attempting to influence the team management, team selection, and other decisions within the parameters of De Villiers as the coach. De Villiers refused to be influenced in this way, and it was unprofessional and inappropriate as well as restricting in terms of ensuring that he was able to fulfill his mandate with his players. He refused to simply be placid figurehead that they are seeking and instead focused on fulfilling his mandate and building a strong rugby team with the potential for true greatness and success on the regional and international platform. His daughter unfortunately took ill, which resulted in, in his needing to temporarily return to South Africa to support her and see to her recovery. Due to the uncertainty of her illness, he ended up having to stay in South Africa for longer than initially agreed with the Presidium. Based on these unforeseeable circumstances, the Presidium dismissed him from his role as the coach of Zimbabwe Rugby. This was a decision that we believe was unnecessarily uh, punitive and self-saving to them. We had established a strong coach-team relationship and had seen tremendous growth in our game on a personal level as well as, well as a unit. We are committed to the sport of rugby and Phil De Villiers was the best coach the team could have been assigned. And this decision to dismiss him has been met with disdain and frustration by the players. We therefore stand committed to a campaign to ensure our coach is not only reinstated but also allowed to exercise his powers and discretion as the coach without any interference from the Presidium. His dismissal was unfair and unjust. Under the circumstances, and his reinstatement is a step of good faith that needs to be explored as a matter of agency. We would like collective, collectively like, we would also collectively like to implore the Minister, the Secretary of board, the SRC, sponsors and concerned Zimbabweans to support this stand in solidarity with us to make our Zimbabwe Sables great again.